so yeah, we, we're going to talk a bit today about the um, the online summer school that's sort of starting next week. Which is I know. Come around so quick. <laughs> yeah. So well, we're very excited about it, obviously. Um, yeah. And preparing for it, and um, all the rest of that. Yeah. Yeah, so we're um, it's sort of starting uh, next week, um, and we're online every Monday and Friday from uh, eleven till one, um, and uh, we're we're running it, it. It was due to be a live um, a live workshop that was going to be sort of here, residential with everybody, but um, we've. Um, converted it to an online course um, and so you can you can sign up with us all this week um, and available as a as a webinar um, and so yeah if, if you both want to kind of have a, a sort of talk through what what's being covered in each each kind of course yeah yeah <clears throat> so um well one of the things that uh, we've we've had a few inquiries about who it's suitable for and really it's artists at any stage of their careers that feel they need some input into their practice um, and a bit of revitalizing sometimes. Like um, the way that we've structured it is, is there are six sessions, but then a follow up Q and A, um, starting with representing yourself online and offline. But it's sort of a lot about sort of online um, marketing and social media. Mm -hmm. um, but and not just that, but just sort of how the best way that you can be prepared. For example. When you are, are when you when we're back in the physical world as well, to be able to put yourself forward to people and present yourself in the best possible way. Um, then there's articulating your practice, which is a real essential one um, of artists thinking and about writing about their work, which um, everyone needs sort of helping you know in in that sort of area usually. Um, and sort of strategies about how to approach that. And Justin has lots of really good strategies around yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it, we're sort of going to have some, that one's going to have some practical things in it. So mm -hmm. there'll be just some almost like um, Creative tools exercises. that you can sort of, um, and some documents that you can download that just give you some really good prompts mm. that help you with the various parts of, I mean, people get really stuck with writing a statement about their work. And it's really, mm. it is difficult, but once you break it down into all the constituent parts, it becomes much easier. So we've got a few things like that that are really practical, but it's also just about trying to, I suppose, um, get to the bottom of what you want to say about your work and trying to avoid things like art jargon and mm. all the common things that you see in statements. And there's, there's certain things like really common things that crop up all the time. So it's, it's some, you know, some of the broader advice, but also some really practical things that people can take away and mm -hmm. use hopefully to, um, you know, some little things there to take away with you. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the whole, I mean, generally the course is sort of structured with sort of practical exercises and philosophical things. Um, so yeah, and then we go on to, um, Creative collaboration. So Justin's then going to talk about um, that one's on his own. A few of them we're doing together, and a few of them we're doing separately. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And so creative collaborations with Justin, talking about working with lots of commercial galleries across the world. It's kind of, I suppose, that one is trying to um, think about your activities that go beyond the studio, uh, whether that's collaborating with other artists, but it might be starting off with things like working with project spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be organizing your own shows um, and but going right through to um, I mean I do it through the lens of my experiences of having started off with very lo-fi artist run initiatives right through to sort of being involved with some quite big museum shows and just the realities of that and mm. trying to get I think it's really healthy that we can talk really honestly and get beyond the myths around that and I think people um, it's really helpful to have some really real world, you know, this is how it actually works. So that one's yeah. the, the kind of galleries, uh, institutions, but also, you know, how, how it might work to do very homespun projects. Mm. And there's lots of opportunity through through the, the course to ask questions along the way and obviously yeah. kind of net, network with everybody else that's sort of um, taking part in it. 
Um, and if you're sort of feeling, um, obviously there are six kind of sessions overall, but um, we've also got an opportunity if you feel like there's certain sessions that you, you would want on their own, then you, you can kind of pick those up as well. So yeah. there's, there's lots of opportunities sort of throughout to kind of, yeah, keep asking questions and um, which will follow up each week. Yeah. Yeah, and your homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some come with homework. It's some, some come with homework, yeah. yeah. So, so that people can um, also connect with each other um, through the course, hopefully. Um, mm. Not loads of homework, but just a little bit. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and that was what something we talked about, just making it really practical so that, you know, when, when you're kind of taking part in it, you can action some things and, and you know, be able to sort of take those on and, and, and see them kind of working and come back and sort of reflect with one another about those things. Yeah, I mean, hopefully um, there's a question and answer session at the end and hopefully during, you know, the, the sequence, as it were, um, the questions that come up then there's a real opportunity to um, just ask us you know any questions that you have so you know we'll be talking about um, money for instance in what the, mm. the fifth session is money but that's always a big one you know like things like mm. just how how these things you know selling work or commissions uh, there's always questions about pricing and just how these things you know operate really mm. Yeah, and also portfolio careers. Everyone that um, works in the arts always has portfolio mm. careers, as they're called, yep. where you are sort of um, uh, working in different parts of the industry and, and how to kind of make the most of that, really. Because mm. there's ways that, you know, there's good ways and there's bad ways. <laughs> With all of these things, are like the best practice and to sort of make, make things a bit more sustainable. Um, yeah, because that's... That's the same for both of you, isn't it? You know, you're not just artists yourselves. You're not just curators. You, you're kind of, you know, that it's it's pulling up on a lot of the, your own backgrounds, what you've experienced. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ros has a pretty full time job as a curator. Until very recently, I was running an art course, but now I'm working as a designer. And mm -hmm. um, there's that juggle that we all do as artists. But then I think it's really important right now that a lot of people are having to really think about how they're going to manage, you know, a really difficult time at the moment. And we, mm. we're definitely facing the same things, you know, how, how, how are galleries going to work? Like, um, when are they, you know, how, how's that going to pan out? So I think, mm. you know, like in the last week, for instance, I've been putting together some portfolios to represent my work. Yeah. Mm. And, and having to rethink, okay, so, you know, um, things are going to look very different in a minute. And we're, we're working that through too. So I think, you know, we want to keep a lot of that um, currency in the course. You know, I think it's really mm. relevant now that people are connecting more than ever and thinking about what we can, you know, creative ways to like move forward and maintain our practice, but also our livings. Which I think is really, um, for example, like Justin sent out a portfolio to, funnily enough, it's an artist friend that's also a consultant. Um, and he was really impressed by Justin's portfolio. He was like, oh, this is amazing. You've made it so <laughs> easy for me to send it out. And that's what you want. You know, if, for all of our other jobs that we have as artists, you really want to make it easy for the people that you're working with to mm. present your work. And mm. so how do you do that? And it's, it's it, you know, Justin takes a good long time over these things and then it reaps its own rewards. But most people will just send you, oh, all right, yeah, I'll just send you like a JPEG. Um, yeah. without a name and you're like okay great thanks that's not making it very easy to work with you <laughs> and even I've worked with um, the Contemporary Art Society we've, we've um, worked together on a panel for Collie Bristow and you know the sort of how some people go about approaching some of those professional relationships and making it really quite mm. difficult mm. Um, it's just like d d just make it suit like we all have this sort of responsibility to each other to make it a little bit easier <laughs> to, mm. um, to kind of try and sell your work or get you into an exhibition and so on. So you just want everything to be kind of prepared. I mean, um, Kerry Hand, who's an amazing um, curator gallerist and mm. um, lovely woman, but she said you have to be ready to walk through the door. And mm. being ready to walk through the door takes quite a few tools. Mm. Um, I mean, so a, lot, a lot of that is just really pragmatic things as well. It's like, you know, um, 
making this portfolio this week, I'm aware that this, these images will be sent maybe to people around the world. And it just needs to be so simple and straightforward. And you need to understand how things look. And mm. you, you, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of simple rules, but there's a lot of information that we can all just share together that can help us all, really. Mm. You know, right down to labeling JPEGs, but also then, you know, how, how you approach people, how you get projects off the ground. So I think there's a... Um, there's just a wealth of knowledge out there and hopefully we can bring some of it you know together mm. in these um six sessions mm. yeah in the last i mean the last session is sort of we're going to talk about sort of things like fashion success time and failure and sometimes um when i worked with um annabelle with zeitgeist arts projects um she had a fear of success and i had a fear of failure mm -hmm. so it's quite a <laughs> good combo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know, sometimes you hold yourself back because you think, well, what if I did get a massive gallery show? Mm. I, I, how would I do that? And you can go into that. Mm. Whereas the things that I try and do in which people, which artists or creatives can find um, difficult, they go, oh, I don't want to market myself. I don't want to be, you know, and it's, it's mm. that's, I don't sort of think, oh, I'm marketing myself. I'm just thinking, I need to think of the best strategy in which I can approach things and my career and what do I need and what do I want and I've spent seven years training doing a mm. you know foundation BA MA and then subsequent years and all the the time invested in that and I don't want to sit back and go I've got an exhibition but I'm not going to tell anyone about it or yeah. I'll tell them two days before or and it's like I just you have to sort of there's certain things that you have to put aside a little bit you have to put on mm. Your professional mm. face this is a job i mean that's one of the best big pieces of advice i was given is this is a job it's a mm. wonderful vocation but it's also your job so mm. you do have to be your own you know business manager ambassador entrepreneurial you have to think of ways to to kind of approach things and actually it can be really enjoyable having mm. set up artist-led spaces and worked with amazing people i decided to pick myself and represent myself and do the things I felt I needed, which was mm. to create a network. And, uh, you know, I think that's the sort of the core of the course, really. Yeah, I think that the final session, which we've kind of given a title, the fashion success time and failure is interesting because over the last couple of years, I think I, I was very motivated personally, um, previously to, I don't know, maybe get my work into commercial galleries. And this is a mm. big big one for artists. Mm. And I think in the last few years, Ros and I did quite a few collaborative shows in really small arts run, studio galleries, project spaces. And I think um, and maybe their emphasis has changed much more towards what do we value and those things mm. are probably around community and our arts community and how we can be, yes, we all want success, but it's, it's sort of, there's something much more sustainable you know, mm. so maybe changing our ideas of what success are are part of a conversation, mm. you know, like, in the Which end. Had, yeah. yeah. Sorry, no, I was just saying it, it, it's something, you know, that's that's really come out of this sort of time now, you know, how we're, we're kind of rallying together to sort of support one another. So, you know, in a way, it sort of feels a really kind of fitting time to be spending time discussing all these things together. No, I think so. I think it's so important right now because I think, you know, what's been going on is such a great lesson in mm. when it comes down to it, what's important. And in a way, it's really good to have, if we can, in this time, have some time to just think about that in terms of our art practices and art careers. And what do we, you know, right now, I, I would just be desperate to have a private view with my art friends, meet up, yeah. and work in the flesh. These things yeah. that we just took for granted, but it's then, you know, how do we, you know, make the most of those things when when they mm. come back and happen. So I think, you know, this is a really, really key time for this in a way that we have these conversations about what's important for us. Mm. Um, you know, it's a bit like you guys at Clayhill. We would have all been there. It looks glorious there. But yeah. at the same time, you still have a community of people, you know. it's Yeah, yeah. And, and the idea is to sort of build on that. You know, everybody is connecting online at the moment and this is another opportunity to meet people that are going through the same thing you're going through, sort of learning together, building a, a new kind of support network that um, 
I mean, sort of th through the course in, in the kind of final week, we're having a, a kind of Q&A together that, that's sort of dealing with everything that we've been kind of talking about yeah. throughout the course as well. Um, you know, and, w and with a view <laughs> when we can all move around again safely, you know, that that can be something that's sort of revisited in a, in a kind of live sense as well and, and, and how that all kind of works um, f for one another. Yeah. Um, because that just feels really important to be creating those communities. You know, even they are online at the moment, but they'll, you know, they're going to help everyone through this next kind of difficult bit, really. Yeah, and the, you know, there's been such a lot of really amazing like initiatives going on at the moment. Mm. It's really good to share with people as well. And you know, we've had things like isolation art school, but we've had, you know, artists really um, discovering what it means to have a voice mm. and what you know, the value of artists at this moment and creativity in these things. So I think, you know, mm. there's so many important conversations to be had. So I think these, you know, each session will have around half an hour at the end for questions mm. and answers. And I think that's a really important part of this, that it, it's also a conversation. Um, mm. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and that was, um, so a, a couple of questions we've already had already is, I mean, the... the the, co the courses are happening online Monday and Friday between 11 and 1, but um, they're also being recorded, yeah. which you'll then have access to for a week. So if you can't make those time, because, you know, there are childcare issues at the moment as well for lots of people. So um, we, want, we really wanted to make it as kind of flexible and accessible as possible for people. So um, you can still sign up, even if you can't be there in a live sense, you can still access... Um, yeah, the, the the filming of it and and again you know we encourage you to kind of ask questions in between which we can then pick up in in the sort of session as the following session as well um and and like i said if the if you can't commit to the whole course but the the, the feels like there's a particular one that you you like the sound of then they, they can you can access them sort of um independently as well so um yeah i mean <laughs> i have to say i mean everything that um, this course is, I so wish I had this as a graduate or mm. I'm my career. I know I'm running it, but <laughs> if somebody had said to me, oh, you can do, you're going to have 14 hours of like talking with people that have actually got sort of insight into these things. And I'm not saying this at all in an arrogant way. I just sort of like, I wish I'd known all this stuff when I, mm. At any point in my career, even now, if, I, if somebody else was running it, I'd sign up to it. I'd be like, oh, okay, what's, <laughs> their, what's their insight? Yeah. Um, well, I think, yeah, it, it, it's just having a, you know, an opportunity to just kind of sit back, listen, also engage with the kind of content as well. But, you know, we are all in a, a space of kind of reflection in varying ways at the moment. And, th yeah. and this is another opportunity to kind of engage with that, um, yeah. you know, and, and, and yeah. I mean, these, um, I suppose these conversations are very much um, live for us too. It, mm. it, and I think it's really important that it's not um, in, sort of in any way didactic. It's like, oh, we've got the answers over here. But it, it's just that um, in a way opening up these conversations, but also just sharing what we've learned, you know, through Ross curating so much, but also being mm. in art school and going through these projects. And I think we need to be, we all need to be, continually having these conversations they change all mm. the time we're in such a different situation now that mm. certain parts of this course are going to be really different to the way we might have spoken about it before mm. i think you know it's that thing that this is um these are things that don't you know they're continually live conversations you know mm. they're not fixed things uh, yeah and uh, sorry carry on no 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 go ahead well, no, no, I mean, it, it was something we've been talking about whilst we've been developing the course together that, you know, it, it feels something that's that's relevant to revisit every year, you know, in the same way that your artist statement changes from one exhibition to the next. It's not a static kind of thing. And, yeah. you know, there, there's so much changing for all of us at the moment. It, it just feels a really valuable time to be kind of coming together and, and talking about that. Yeah, definitely. I think as well, um, in amongst it, there's a talk about the fine art of opportunity and <clears throat> where we are now as artists and sort of changing your own trajectory in terms of thinking, well, what could I do? And there's loads of, you know, artist led initiatives, you know, around um, and, it, and it helps to, instead of feeling like maybe stuck at home, 
just making your work feeling you don't have an audience. It's also mm. you can create an audience for yourself in different in innovative ways. And that's another thing to talk about, you know. Um yeah, it just changes things for yourself so that you don't have to feel so like, oh, pick me. And it's like, oh, pick yourself. Mm. <laughs> mm. You know, if you want to have conversations with artists, well, set up your own peer crit group. Set up mm. an artist-led space that's maybe virtual at this point in time. But mm. um, change the dynamic. Because mm. a lot of artists say, oh, I feel, you know, I feel, feel isolated, feel they're not connected. But you can sort of strategic, like in a good way, positively change that. It's interesting. Mm. I was doing yesterday, I did a day of um, a crit day for a group of students mm. all day on Zoom. <laughs> right? Oh, wow. Uh, which, is, which was kind of, it's a new thing. And I think some of those students, they were due to have a, an exhibition this year, mm. a graduate exhibition. And that's being put back to some vague point next year. And I think mm. there was a sense of like a disappointment, obviously, mm. about that. Mm. But, I, but I think I, maybe because I wasn't in the group, but I, I, you know, as a tutor, I was kind of like, this is an amazing opportunity. You now have much mm. longer to develop the work. You're not in the same college environment and you get with this, within this supportive community, the chance to develop your show together. Mm. And what they started to do is do these zoom sessions in pairs and small groups together mm. and actually slowly i'm sort of like, take that away with you and connect like this do you know what i mean so mm -hmm. there are things that are happening and new opportunities and yeah yeah it's hard doing all this remotely or, or, or a day of mm. fritz on zoom is kind of madness but at the same <laughs> yeah. time the best bits were just the conversations actually and people mm. go oh that's so amazing if you hadn't said that you know, something that somebody else mm. said was relevant for me. And mm. I think we're all learning quite a lot at the moment about, you know, what we what we have to share and mm. different ways of doing that. Yeah, I mean, I similarly, I had mentoring sessions this week for ArtQuest and a few people, you know, they've had solo shows or group shows being put off. And I said, you know, well, you can make even more of them because, you know, you can spend a bit more time maybe developing a catalogue or, you know, mm. all these things. And suddenly the pressure's off actually as well. So you can really hone stuff and think even more about it, um, about making the most of it, which is part, a lot of what our, our course is about. It's like making mm. the most of your opportunities, mm. not just sort of the actual thing, but the, the reflective act of an opportunity. Mm. Yeah. And there's, um also at, at the end of the course as well there's an opportunity um to kind of connect with you both in, in a kind of mentoring capacity as well because that's mm -hmm. that's something that you also offer to artists as well yeah it's yeah. it you've been doing quite a bit of that through during lockdown <laughs> well, I've just been doing a lot of mentoring. Yeah. <laughs> well it's yeah I, I i mentor for um an and ArtQuest, and um, used to do PLOP when that was residency, um, Shape Arts, so over 10 years of mentoring, but Justin does it too in his, in his capacity as well as a, a teacher and does independent, but yeah, so we're offering a discount if people come on the course um, mm. to have a follow-up where it's much more about, a, you know, we're obviously doing um, workshops and lectures sort of to group, but then there's off, obviously some people want individualized mm. tailored sessions where you're only talking um i've done quite a lot of uh, mentoring with artists um, <clears throat> and there there might be artists that are contemporaries of mine but it will be really specific things like yeah can right. you just help me write a proposal or can you just mm. spend an hour with me on the statement it's kind of needs updating or it's clunky yeah and mm. these things are you know it's surprising you know pro professional artists do this they they talk to each other in this way and, mm. um, it's really empowering to know that you can do that you, you know you, yeah oh actually so a lot of what I've done is things like help just looking over people's statements and trying to really tune them up and... yeah or like website overviews I've had um, a few conversations with people that haven't realized um, for example that they haven't even got a contact email address or way to contact them on their website mm. just you just need a fresh set of eyes sometimes and mm. I think throughout one's career it's very healthy to reach out to somebody else and ask them for advice and input. Mm. Um, I've done it throughout my career. And I also think, to be honest, right now, where our education is, what, you know, are you going to spend nine grand 
on our education right now when yeah. you could maybe um source artists to teach you directly about their experiences mm. and so on i think there's always an alternative but right now um and that's what i always advise when people say well should i do an ma and i'm like well what do you want to get out of it and mm. a network is one thing but that's not nine grand to, or whatever it's going to cost to just get a network is not mm. necessarily always the most sustainable route to get mm. that art career um there are other ways and i i think um well maybe the world is shifting to sort of agree with me a little bit in that um sense. well hopefully so <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so um yeah we're starting next monday um yeah. and yeah. So, so yeah there's still a week to sign up um and all the the details are available on our website if you know if you're kind of watching this through instagram there's there's all the details there through our bio um anybody who's just joined um this will um be kind of live on our site and i think we're working out how to sort of make it into a other shareable video as well so um yeah so uh, yeah um, if you a podcast as well <laughs> yeah yeah no yes yeah, so we had a podcast a few weeks ago as well kind of delving a bit more in into kind of how it's um it's been for you kind of both as as artists during this kind of time um um we was talking a bit about the virtual tours you've been doing with uh collier bristow as well um so yeah there's um if you've not listened to that you can check that out um and yeah we're, we're really looking forward to to kind of working with you both and and meeting everybody online next week um and yeah if anybody's got any kind of questions i suppose whilst we're kind of live now or um if if not you're, you're welcome to kind of contact us direct sort of during the week and we can get those kind of back to you and we'll we'll post any kind of questions through our kind of instagram and that sort of thing as well so yeah great great well great. thank you so much and, yeah no thank you and uh yeah we'll see you next week yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant Have a lovely week and thank yeah you. And, and you great take care bye 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 bye, bye.